What is up, Internet Land? Zekimus Prime, a.k.a. Zekimus Prime, here with the Transformers uh, Legacy Review. And the figure I'm taking a look at today is the Transformers Legacy Armada Starscream. And, um, yeah, this is uh, kind of an interesting thing. I don't know why they uh, suddenly decided, oh, yeah, let's uh, take a look at Armada figures or whatnot. But they're like, yeah, you know what we haven't done in a while? Armada Starscream. We haven't done them since the Thrilling 30s line, like, just a few years ago. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, it's a pretty faithful-looking rendition. Like, really good. This is easily the best Armada Starscream that we've ever gotten. Um, it looks really good. But, yeah, let's talk about his accessories real quick. It comes with... This uh, wing sword here, I do kind of wish, again, as I wished for the Thrilling 30s version, I do wish that they had figured out a way to make the wing turn into the sword. I think that is more, you know, would be better, but eh, it is what it is. And he'll hold that in his fist. And then he also comes with the Star Saber. A nicely detailed, like, collection of minicons. And that will go into either fist, and he can hold them both, and cut stuff, I suppose. But the um, the sculpt on this figure is really good. Um, I do like some of the uh, some of the work that they put into it. I, they they put in um, features in here to to fill in those uh, those gaps. I think that's really great. He does have gaps, like, down here on the thigh, but, you know. Uh, awkward. Yeah, gaps on the thigh. Um, but he's got these automatic, like, gap fillers on the back, and, you know, like, like, all in all, this figure is really well done. And so, stay. Stay. Apparently there's some uh, mold defects. <laughs> Yikes. But, you know, it's nothing, nothing critical. But yeah, so he comes with those, um, he comes with these little launcher things that can flip out. You can stick these on the end of those if you really want to. You know, you don't have to, of course. I'm not going to make you, I'm not going to twist your arm. But yeah, those can fit out. And uh, yeah, that's about all that there is to know about that. You can take this if you want these even more out of the way, you can fold them down like so. Which also is a good look. It's not as show accurate, but it's a very good look. He's got those typical, like, Starscream shoulder pylons in that regard. But, yeah. In terms of uh, articulation, his head is on a ball joint. It's very restricted in there. If you actually do this, then you can turn his head all the way around. But there's no way you're going to get much turning out of it unless you do this. When it's like this, you get, like, the tiniest bit that way and not even anything the other way. Like, it just sits there and looks straightforward. He's got some flexibility on his wings. They'll fold back and forth and rotate a bit. You can turn his arms, well, if you fold the wing out of the way, basically all the way around. And go out for the full uh, T-pose. He's got a bicep rotation. Double joint on the elbow. Uh, no articulation on the wrist unless you want to like, kind of like pull this. Out of its little uh, spot. And then you can kind of, you can kind of tilt the wrist down a little bit. And fake that articulation, but... He does have a little bit of a waist joint. 
Uh, not much, but it's, you know, more than we've ever gotten on, on an Armada Starscream before. These canards flap about. Not sure exactly why. Because, like, I think maybe... I think maybe they just might be to, like, make his, like, cross-section, mid-section more, like, sleek. Because they don't get in the way of any... Well, I guess if you want to move the leg all the way forward, then the canard needs to fold in for that. But uh, maybe that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. His leg will go all the way forward, all the way back. Go out for uh, like 150% of a Van Damme, like easily. He's got a thigh rotation that will make his thigh come straight off. I can fix that, but it's not my figure, so I'm borrowing. I'm borrowing it. He's got greater than 90 degree bend on his uh, knee joint, so that's nice. And then his toe goes forward and back, which is kind of a rarity in Transformers these days, and side to side as well. Uh, a little bit of, you know, well, this is for transformation, but it's a heel spur that you can move. And he's got, like, you know the, what do they call it, armor ports on his feet and on his legs, on his arm, on his back, in all of the usual places, on his wings. But yeah, um, I do wish that he kind of had like a, uh, a minicon port. Um, like even if it doesn't do anything, it'd be nice if it just had one. A vestigial minicon port. You know, to like connect with his roots. But, all in all, it's a good looking figure. It's got decent articulation. Let's get him transformed. So, to get this figure transformed, do you want to start with, uh, let's start with the wings. Yeah, we'll just turn like that. You can take the fists and you can open these up, fold the fists in, close them up. Um, the shoulder is on this little like hinge part that will come out to the side. It actually, you can move it out to the side when it's like this, when his arm is like this. It's actually far easier if you click it back. This is like a soft detent in there. Put it back one click and then it'll just go to the side just smooth like butter. And then it'll all fold up. This little peg back here will fit into a slot up in that wing waffling. And there you go. We'll do the same with the other side. Fold up the wrist. Fold this back one click and then put that up. Fold the elbow in. Bring up the nose of the jet there, bring up the tail of the jet there. You can take this and fold this all the way back. There'll be like, this big old tab right here will kind of fit into that spot right there. And then you can drop the head down. Now for the legs, you want to take stay. You want to take and turn the leg in, open up this doohickey on the back, uh, fold up the heel, fold that in, and for the other side as well. Open up this doohickey on the back, fold in the heel, fold in the foot, and then you want to take, actually we're going to put this back down a little bit. We're going to take and fold the feet around and the toes are going to come in and hang out in these hollows here. And when you do that, these panels on the back of the legs, one will be on the top and one will be on the bottom. And then you can take those panels and plug them into each other. And so when you put this all back up, come on, go home toe. When you put this all back up, it'll just kind of 
chunks together like so, which is pretty damn swanky if you ask me. Some clever engineering. And there is Starscream in his, go away head, in his vehicle mode. Now for his accessories, you can plug them into the arm here. You can plug them into the wing here. You can plug them into the bottom here. You can plug them into this part here. I mean, you can plug them wherever you want. Generally, you're probably going to plug them into the wings because... I mean, Swords on the Wings looks weird, but what else are we going to do? I will stab you by running into you at high speeds. You can still fold these out in vehicle mode. And he can shoot things and then stab them as he flies by. Oh, I was going to say something about landing gear, but as I look at it, there is no landing gear. That's everything that there is to say about this figure. All in all, I think it looks pretty great. Um, definitely a must-have for a fan of Armada or a fan of Starscream. And, um, yeah, good paint apps, good proportions, good details, good engineering. And when he gets fast, he can, when he needs to go faster, he can flap his little canards. So... I mean, I was about to say something about the aerodynamics of those canards, but then I look at this thing and realize that aerodynamics is not really a uh, big concern for the design of this chunky Armada figure. But anyhow, that's all I got to say about that. Thanks, everybody, for watching. You guys are fantastic. Everybody stay awesome and be good to each other. See ya.